हरे कृष्णा ईशा वाशा उपनिषद फोर्थ मंत्र अनेज देक मनसो जवीयो नैन देव आपनुवन पूर्व मर्षत तद्धावत ज्ञान तेति तिष्ठत स्मिन्नपो मातरिश्वा दधाति द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज फियरलेस He is supreme leader in all sense, faster than the mind speed, faster than the speed of mind. If I feel to go to Himalaya now with my mind, I will be reaching with my mind. So that much speed is there. Even the aeroplane and all the rockets also cannot reach. If I want to go to Surya Loka, Chandra Loka, with my mind I will go. So speed of mind is very fast. But the Lord is speeder than the speed. of the mind lord only has created energized the mind the devatas the deities cannot understand the supreme lord to the full extent the supreme lord knows everything every deity since infinitely long back many deities will come and go come and go from ages from manvantaras from that uh, brahmas chaturmaka brahmas creations so in one chaturmaka brahma creations many deities will be there and brahma will be there that brahma will go next in next creation another brahma will come many number of deities will be there so it is since long this creation is going on since long many chaturmaka brahmas have gone so lord knows everybody since infinitely black and also he will know in future also many in Uh, infinite number of uh, uh, brahmas and brahmandas are going to be created it is a cyclic process creation of the brahmanda is a cyclic process it is not a one time the big bang is not a one time issue for proving this mathematically with scientifically physically sir pendros has got a nobel prize very recently two years back you can refer to his work he says that uh, the information of the earlier brahmanda earlier universe is hidden in the present universe in the form of black hole he says he proved with mathematical calculation what are required for the scientific world so just such a great thing the lord he knows everything the earlier brahmandas earlier brahmanda creations earlier brahmanda in charge of brahmas and earlier brahmandas deities present Brahm, brahma present deities and also future infinite number of brahmandas which are going to come so that much enormous power he got so he is fearless he knows everything he is faster than the mind faster than anything the supreme lord is unmoved but still will move faster than anyone unmoved means you can you should not say he will like sitting like a stone no it is not like that unmoved does not mean motionless no it means that even though he is fastest of all still he remains as it is as he is so if we i move 100 meter fast i will be there in that place not in this place for me for you and all but it is not like that lord will move faster than the um, mind but he will still he will remain here also he will be there also he will be everywhere by sitting he will surpass all the fastest moving object the breath god vayu vayu deva prana deva air god will collect the offerings of all and submit to the almighty god so here everything his representative of the god is breath representative of the brahman the uh, supreme god paramatma is the representative is vayu deva prana deva why they will act as the mediator he will sub- he will submit our offerings of our all offerings to him so achuto gurudwara any offerings to the supreme lord should be done through vayu deva only it is a rule of the universe god has made a rule he will receive all his offerings through some uh, person that person is vayu deva sri madhva muni in his bhashya quotes the sentences of brahmanda purana to substantiate the upanishad sayings above upanishad sayings he quotes many verses of brahmanda purana in that his madhva bhashya of this upanishad the supreme lord is called as unmoved because he is fearless as he is supreme called as eka because he is supreme he called as eka one only 
all other things are also real it should, you should not think that he is only one he is only real everything is not real everything is false mithya whatever it is some commentators are saying all other things are also real and existing they are also existing but they are all secondary to him all are dependent reality and lord is independent reality so he is eka lord is eka because he is dip- he is totally independent reality and everything everything is dependent on him so remaining other than the lord all are remaining whatever remaining is there when his souls in the minimum number of souls uh, this work this all this uh, inert uh, brahmanda universe and all other energy etc etc all dependent reality so lord is eka dravato teti santishtat karmanya dhan marut ಮಾರುತ್ಯವ ಯತ ಚೇಷ್ಟ ಸರ್ವ ತಾಂ ಹರೇರ್ಪೇತ ಇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡೆ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಪುರಾಣ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಹೂ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ದಟ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಡೇ ಡೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಾಯುದೇವ ಥ್ರೂ ಮುಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ಪುರಾಣ the tattva samhita it is also a one uh, great work a book also described the supreme brahman as quoted above it also quotes everything everybody is afraid of the supreme lord and his lord is not fearing not afraid to anything to anyone so he is unmoved like that tattva samhita that uh, grantha the book important book quotes as the lord is everywhere he is very near to all and very far to all also because now he is in our heart so he is very near to he is in all our body parts he is energizing us so he is near he is also in the galaxies which are far 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 away so he is now far us he is far away he is in that trihamas in vaikuntha so ananta deepa and shweta deepa and anantasana so he is far far to us he is there with with our mind he is there within our heart it is very near so lord is very near also lord is too far also this is the meaning of this uh, very wonderful uh, this upanishad uh, sentence we will continue uh, next uh, mantra mm, just it is our our intention is to give a brief idea a summary for all the people uh, our uh, students of our uh, vidyalaya they are we are all common people who, but who want to know who got we are very much interested to know it, but we cannot study deeply because we have got some activities some other activities we have to move the life we are in day to day uh, in mundane life we are involved but we want to know at least something to the extent if something somebody asks what is ishavas upanishads you give some uh, five minutes uh, about that to give the uh, summary we should be in a position to summarize it so like this our vidyalaya is moving this especially english lectures are for those who are not uh, familiar with the kannada language because this our madhu philosophy granthas uh, almost all and uh, teachings uh, and uh, pravachanas and all lectures are in kannada only now as far as the pandits no problem they will be dealing with uh, in their gurukulas and all in sanskrit language for them no problem but people like us who are uh, in uh, some uh, various uh, different fields of work of life uh, and who are leading our life uh, for us uh, for people who are interested and those who are not knowing kannada uh, then uh, i think uh, this my briefings uh, may be useful for you please uh, this uh, inform to others uh, those who are not having knowledge of kannada and those who are interested to know the real picture of what uh, the madhu muni is telling what tika chare is telling what vasa tirtha guru sarvabhauma is telling what our great raghavendra swamin is telling so just to were making a briefings of this all the things it is not uh, for meant for the studies but it is for getting information some interested people we can have uh, deeper studies and we can listen to the uh, lectures of great pandits in future we can have that you have also studied hari srinivasa please i hope that you will all support our vidyalaya and uh, uh become the members who are conducting many examinations uh, and who are giving uh, many study materials and all the things so please uh, listen 
we are the first institution of harada sahitya form 25 years back uh, just a simple persons like we who formed the institution and it is become very um, attractive in the public and uh, i tell you many influences organizations have now by seeing our experience they have started some uh, vidyalaya harada sahitya vidyalaya just few years back 2 3 4 years back we hope that some more influence and organization also come forward to propagate haridasa sahitya we will be very happy if everybody is not very influential organizations if they are in order more people will be um, attracted it is a fact of the uh, world so uh, anyhow let haridasa sahitya grow hari sinema